You did so well. I'm going to put you on the spot again. And we have okay. a section called pro tips. Pro tips. Okay. Pro tips is more, typically it's more for new owner, people trying to buy their first laundromat. And maybe you want to address that and give a tip for that. Or maybe you want to give a pro tip for somebody maybe who is thinking about putting a card system in for the first time in their store and maybe a tip to help them uh, get started in the right direction with the card system. So go either way that you want to go. Sure. Sure. I think, you know, um, I guess, th- cause that's where my focus is. We talk about investors and considering payment options, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, I would say now more than any, there's, it can be, you know, it's like paralysis by analysis. There's mm-hmm. so many options and they're all very different. Um, so it can be a bit challenging to determine well, what's the right thing for me and uh, what should I do in my store and my demographic? You know, I, I think that nothing, um, and this is, this is old fashioned as well, but nothing does better than going for referrals. And, and what I mean by that is talk to people, you know, the CLA is a good forum. I'm sure, you know, you've got a bunch of customers or I say investors and store owners that you have talked to over the years that you could refer people to that have used various technology. You have to talk to people and find out what they like, what they don't like. And that will guide you towards the products that fit your yourself, you know, your, your needs the best. And so, you know, it's simple, it's simple, but the reality is that people so often just take something they see an ad for. And it's like, Oh, that's what I want. That's it. Or it's the shiny new marble in the box. You know, they say, Oh, I'm going to do that. But then they don't take a look and talk to people and find out, well, how long has that marble been around? You know, how oh, that marble has been there for a year and that marble might not be there a year later. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, I think when you talk to people who've been doing this a while and have had success with whatever it is that they invested in, just paint so much more confidence in an investor that's trying to figure out, you know, what, what should I do from a payment perspective? Um, don't always be attracted to the shiny, the shiny objects every time. Not that you shouldn't pay attention to them. I think that there's, there's a lot of good there, but you know, laundromats stick around for a while. You know what I mean? Typical laundromats last a long time. And so when you make an investment in a payment system, um, is that, is that solution going to be there in five years when you need them still, you know, do they have a sustainable business model that's going to make sure that they can take care of you and your, and your needs when that time comes. So, you know, that's, and, and I think the best way to get confidence that is to talk to people and, you know, that's the, that's the pro tip for buying a card system. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a really great pro tip because I think a lot of people, you know, they'll, I think you're right. A lot of people will just see an ad and say, Oh, you know what? That seems like a great fit. And they will just jump on it. Um, maybe it'll work out. Maybe it won't. There's another contingent who will do some research and figure out which one fits best. But I think a lot of things that get over or a lot of times what gets overlooked is that whole, Hey, are they going to be around long-term? Are they going to be able to support you? What kind of support mm-hmm. do they have? You right. know, are they, uh, are they actively, updating it? Are they actively making it better? You know, what Mm -hmm. kind of communication is there between, you know, me as an owner and them as a, you know, a software developer that's and hardware developer that's, you know, creating a product that's supposed to help my business. You know, those are questions I think get overlooked a lot and we get tied up in the features a lot too. So that's why I think talking with other owners who are utilizing the different systems comes in handy because they'll have Yes, they'll know the features, but they'll have the perspective of, okay, well, how is this company to work with? You know, how's the support when things go wrong? Mm -hmm. You know, those kinds of things. So I think that's awesome pro tips, not just for buying a card system, but (laughs) for anything. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, that's that's a great pro tip for anybody buying their first laundromat, right? Like, is this going to be a good investment for you? Maybe or maybe not. The way you find out is, yeah, do some research, listen to the podcast, read blog posts go to YouTube, whatever. Um, But probably even more importantly than that is start talking to other owners and see what life is like, see what it's like to own laundromats. So I think that's, what's great about, you know, you know, a forum like this, which, you know, you're having this conversation and hopefully it draws people to just, just to see what's there, but it, people who are interested in the business and interesting purchase, 
is that it's not such a big industry that you can't reach out to that person individually. Mm -hmm. It's not like there's some, you know, magic fence that you can't get over. You just reach out. If you want to call Jordan, call Jordan. You want to call Steve, call Steve. And the people that are participating in these events and participating in these things, they're all very reachable. It's one of the things I like about our industry is that they're all people and they, they, they're just small business owners. And most of them are actually proud of their success. I think most people are, and they're actually okay with sharing what made them successful. Um, and, and that's really what people are interested in. They want to make sure that whatever they invest in, it is expensive in a lot of cases. But if I'm going to do it, is it going to is it going to work? Is it going to be what I wanted? Is it going to help me? And the only way you're going to get that kind of confidence is to talk to people who've been through it already. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think that ends like if you're buying a card system or you're buying a store. I don't think it ends after you pull the trigger on that. Correct. Because like you mentioned earlier, like there's things are changing. Things are you know, we need to keep adapting, keep evolving and keep our finger on the pulse of what's going on. And so after you buy your store, after you buy your card system, you know, keep interacting with people. That's why, you know, we encourage people to interact on forums like the CLA forum or the laundromat resource forum. That's why we encourage, you know, people to network with each other in whatever capacity that, you know, that is, is because when we kind of help each other, we all do better right? Sure. Like that's that abundance mindset of, you know, there's plenty to go around. We can all have success. It doesn't have to be at the expense of anyone else. And right, exactly. That, yeah. And that's a big mindset. And I think it's particularly true in, in our industry, like however your laundromats do have zero impact on mine, right? Right. <laughs> zero. <laughs> yeah, and I would right. argue in mine, even the laundromat a mile down the road, is going to have mm -hmm. zero impact on my right. lighter mat. Absolutely. Um, you know, and so there's, you know, that's, I, I love, I love that pro tip all the way around and you're just showing your wisdom. Yeah. Right. So, so much, <laughs> so much wisdom.